You remind me, CVT with a playthrough, Ray, I love you, man. The playthroughs are just insane. Love it, love it, love it. So, interesting fact here, we're tuning drop D for this, okay? So string six is a D, and the rest are standard. Um, I was watching some live stuff, because you know, I do that, I do the research before doing the lessons, gotta decide are they changing it just for concert, but, uh, which they're not. But uh, the other guitar player, is tuned different than drop D and I didn't go see what he was tuned with because we're not we're not uh, playing his part but it was really interesting I, I wouldn't have thought that so anyways let's jump in here um, section 1a zero seconds in your four chord outline is this right okay they're all bars 3A, 5D, 5G, and 3B. So you may as well just bar, you know, that. We're gonna play uh, strings five through two. A, D, G, B, and then short rest, and then go down, down, up. So it's down, 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 up, change. The change chord, here's what's cool. Um, you're coming off, all we have to do different is bar up 
to the top string, string 6, bring your third finger down to 5G, pinky to 6B. And you do the same strum, down, 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 up. So, we have... Okay, so that's your strum for the next two chords as well. We're just gonna move them back a whole step flat, all right? So now it's 1A, 3D, and G, and 1B. Same strum. And same concept here. Barred, first fret, everything, 3G and 4B. Down, 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 up. That's gonna go twice, all right? So we have. And you'll hear different guitars. Like I said, there's a different part where it's like. Different, different uh, guitar. So we're gonna stick with that main solid rhythm and then section 1B, which is actually the other guitar player, but it's so catchy, I felt like we gotta do it. But he's tuned different, but I was able to get it to work. Really beautiful. 3A, just bar all the way down, and we need 5G. It's a hold, so don't cut the notes off, Ray. Go A, E, G. Should hear three notes, right? You don't want to go. It's an arpeggio. So, and then just slide without picking up to six A. If that's too hard to do, Ray, just just pick the six. Once you get up to six A, we're gonna go eight on the B and G. So, and then bar the first fret on the A string all the way down. And this is this is tricky, but like I said, it's on a it's tuned different when they recorded it in the studio. Um, so on this one, we're going to go A one three E on the high E one B, which we're catching off the bar, and three G. So it's so we have we have from the beginning one. It's uh, dang it. Okay, then 17 seconds in, section 1A, two times. That was the beginning, right? Second time, no star. And in place of that star, we're getting ready to do some distortion. You'll go. Right here. Right dead set in the middle. Palm mute. It's a B flat five power chord with the octave in it. 1A, third fret, D and G. Four times palm muted. And then first fret E, A, and D, palm muted four times. Okay, section two, 28 seconds in, 3A, fifth fret D and G. Here's another strum pattern you want to memorize because they use it four times. <clears throat> so 3A, 5D, and G. That index rate, get up underneath string six and mute it so you don't hear any unwanted noise there particularly coming off those up strums. Down, 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 up. Same exact strum over the first fret, E, A, and D barred. And then um, 1A, 3, D, and G. Uh, same strum. Third fret on the top three strings, same strum. So that's two times. And this comes in at 39 seconds in, it's a C5 power chord, 3A, 5th fret D and G, two times, rest. When I say rest, karate chop, deaden those strings. And then, barred 1st fret E, A and D, with an added 3rd fret off the G string, same thing. And check them, Ray, make sure you've got, you know, that you're hearing all the notes. And just uh, go 1A, 3rd fret D and G, four times. And then 3rd fret E, A, and D. You can use 3rd or 1st finger, it don't matter. Three times, and then move that over to the 1st fret E, A, and D. <clears throat> Alright, so there's four chords. We have... <clears throat> and 
that is done one time. Uh, 45 seconds in, section 2, one time, and then the new part is uh, section 4, 50 seconds in, 3A, 5th fret D and G, a little different strum pattern, but once again, for three-fourths of these chords, it's the same strum. Okay, down, 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 up, change. Down, 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 up, change to third fret E, A, and D, same strum. First fret A, third fret D and G, same strum. And then four down strokes, first fret E, A, and D. So our chord outline is. Right? That's twice, so. Um, or, Section, uh, okay, minute two in, we got section 1A, four times, fourth time, no star. <clears throat> and then underneath I put or for the first time of those three, which I did in the playthrough, I think you should do as well, is jump to some octaves, which would be 3A, muted D, and 5G. So we're deadening this one, right? And so you'd go slide to 6A, slide to 810. So. And then we can pick it up going uh, back to section 1A, which would just be the part you already knew, the... Okay, the fourth time no star, nothing new, because uh, we cut into it, remember, with the uh, palm muting? The... And then top of page three, Bunch of repeats, dude. Minute 24 through, and then we get to two minutes, nine seconds, more repeats. And then we have a new part here. This is the breakdown in the middle, towards the end. You're gonna go third fret A, fifth fret D and G. It'll be. Our C power chord 355 ADG and then third fret EAD to 5G. So there's an easy transition. So we have first fret A, third fret D and G, and then just do the same concept first fret EAD to 3G. That's our outline. And then um, third fret A, fifth fret D and G, third fret B. Okay, so we have to bar that in order to make that work. And then 6th fret E and A. Actually, 6th fret E, A, and D, and 8th fret G. Move that up a whole step to 8, 8, 10. And then do that again. Alrighty. Um, 2 minutes, 30 seconds in, back to section 1A, 2 times, second time, no star. And then they just do the build up different on this one, so I went ahead and wrote it and they'll go. And he's following the drums. Dun 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 dun. So 1A, 3rd fret D and G, palm mute four times. 1st fret E, A, and D, palm mute um, two times. Then no palm mute, down up, down up. So it's. And then. Pretty much it, dude. 247 back to section two, two times, second time, no star. In place of that, he does a break. In other words, section two was this. It went. Here's your second time. Solid break. Um, and then two, two minutes, 59 seconds in, series of repeats. Ending on section two, five times, fifth time no star. Um, which is the same concept, right? Um, you'll end up going, I'll do the fourth and fifth. Because I, 
I put or, I would hit that chord because it's fat, but the overdub would be. It's a hold, so that it's arpeggiated. You'd go th uh, one E, three G, and one B, so we would bar the first fret E and B. But the order is E, G, B, E, B, or E, G, B, E, G, B. You do that eight times, it just fades out. So you can experiment either way. Maybe you want to hit this chord, you know, like back the volume up a little bit and then maybe play some of that. Up to you, Ray. But anyways, you're going to have fun with this one. I think you picked a fabulous song for a playthrough, dude. Um, it's not too crazy. I'm real scared about the next one you're going to have me do. Um, I mean, I'm. We'll, we'll hit that when we hit it.